Yay, it's that time again. Uh, yet another package from uh, places far away. Um, so this time it's from the cubicle in America. It took 19 days to get to England from America, but uh, I guess you can't have everything in this current uh, climate we live in. Um, so let's get in there and see what's inside. Yeah, so um, the first thing is this uh, kit of parts for upgrading cubes. So in Moyo cubes they use um, blue tensioners for any that have just got springs, but any that have got maglev, and that includes ball core, they use purple tensioners. But the problem with the purple tensioners is the, um, the bit at the base is actually quite thick. Um, can't quite see it now, I don't think. Um, and so consequently it holds the screw out further, which means the tension's higher. So if you want loose tension, you can't get very loose with the purple tensioners. So that's a whole bunch of blue tensioners. I'm just going to go through my Moyu collection and just replace them all with blues so I can go looser than uh, they're intended. Um, Oh, now that there is a ball core upgrade kit for an RS3M, a 20, RS3M, yeah, it says 2020 or uh, 2001, or even Super actually, so you can use any of those, but I'm actually going to upgrade my original, uh, just normal spring version of the RS3M uh, with that kit. So that is a set of um, maglev um, magnets, so that's for converting cubes from springs to maglev and again I'm just going to go through my collection and replace um, spring loaded cubes with maglev just because it's looser um, and noiseless as well so it doesn't make that spring noise so that's going to be fun. Oh, now that is a 15mm cube do-it-yourself kit. Um, I, I'm a bit of an engineer at heart so I actually like building things and that is actually all the bits to make a cube yourself but a tiny uh, like key ring sized 15mm uh, cube so that should be a bit of fun. I'll, I'll probably do a video on when I come to assemble that. Which one was this? I don't remember ordering this, to be honest. Um, oh, oh no, it's the little magic. Okay, got it. Um, oops, a was a tensioning tool just made its way across the counter there, but bring him back. Um, let's just see if we can actually get into this. Yeah, I mean, this is just in the question of sort of completeness. So I wanted to see what a little magic was like, and ooh, it's, it's got um, lube all over the outside of it. Ooh, ooh, it's all greasy. Um, but, ooh, oh, yeah, it's okay, but it's very scratchy, and the, uh, it says it's magnetic, but I'm not really feeling. I can get in there and put some stronger magnets into that. But look, it's covered in lube all over. I've got a cloth of that somewhere. But um, yeah, whoop. Yeah, I'm not sure about. Mm, yes, I'll have to give that one some thought. It is very tight, it's very scratchy. Um, don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, there's just screws for tension, so I can just loosen off the screws to make it a bit looser. And uh, like I say, oh, it's not going to be so it's different to put it back. Go on. Yeah, there we are. Um, yeah, so I think I'll look at making that much looser and I'll see what he's got in the way of magnets inside. Assuming we get into these pieces, I don't suppose I can actually pull it out. No, it's too tight to actually take a piece out, but so. Uh,
Yeah, okay, so let's see what else is in here. Um, yes, so this is just a bit of a curiosity cube. I mean, I'm a bit of a scientist uh, on the quiet, so I rather like the idea of a periodic table cube, but um, oh my giddy, and this is not. Easy to use, yes. That is that is about as tight. And there's no cap, so you can't get into it to uh, undo tension or anything like that. I th and I bet you can't take a piece out. No, it's, no, you can't even get your fingers around it. I mean, there is no way that's coming apart, and that is as tight as it is. I mean, I can try lubing it, but um, I'm not sure about that. It, it's a pretty thing, I suppose. There is that. God, you can't even do slices. Uh, it, it, there you go. It's, uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's a nice thing to look at. But that is kind of as far as that goes, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, novelty. So finally, what else we got in here? Now I have to admit I already had this out because I was trying to work out how to get into this. Um, there's a sort of like a sticky bit that was stuck to the base there. So um, the stupid thing about this here is that it's almost impossible. A piece of case as well. It's almost impossible to get out. But look at this! It is shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, get it out. Whoa. Near the boards. Gonna see this. Wow! Look at, look at that. What a thing of beauty! And oh, it's actually that's um that's quite a nice feeling cube. Go on, go on. No, it's not quite magnetic enough to to align correctly. But um, yeah, that is um. That is a nice thing, and it is beautiful. My God, yeah. Wow. Look at that blue face. Oh, it's already got finger marks. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the problem. I've got obviously words from that bloody loo in that other queue. I'll get it all over my fingers, and now it's all over the outside of this as well. So you'll have to sort of wipe it down each time you've used it. But um, yeah, that's actually got. What a nice feel to that, I think. Yeah. And it it is undeniably beautiful. So that's the Cyclone Boys uh, Metallic. For and like I say, all this stuff came from the cube so just to summarise there was that. Just all, all bits and pieces. Um, maglev magnets, ball core, small kit to make a your own cube, um, the use in Little Magic, which is, um, it's scratchy, but um, it's got potential, yes, I mean, it's not all bad, um, this side, I don't know, this, <laughs> but you can't hardly turn the damn thing, good grief, that, that is a, like, uh, you'd be sort of assigned that torture if you'd be naughty or something, but um, yeah, this is the absolute highlight, so <laughs> that is a lovely thing. Um, yeah, that's me done for today, uh, that's all my new stuff, so uh, more to come at some stage.